Hi, I am Dr. Sakib Mansoor, and I am uh, going through the series of spinal cord, and uh, we are going a bit uh, longer. And uh, today's uh, ascending tracks, which uh, studying ascending tracks, which is the sensory tracks, and they ascend from below towards upwards, taking the information from below the spinal cord to the uppers to the cerebrum, on and here. This is the anterior and posterior spinocerebellar tracts, and they carry the sensation to the cerebellum. These sensations, uh, which are carried to the cerebellum via anterior and posterior spinocerebellar tracts, are the muscle joint sense pathways. And uh, we have our uh, over uh, look at this. Uh, the, what is the sensation? The sensation is the unconscious muscle joint sense, and the receptor involved is the muscle spindles, tendon organs, and the joint receptors. And the first order neuron here is again this is most of the time posterior root ganglion, and the second order neuron here is the nucleus dorsalis. This is the difference. Second order neuron is the nucleus dorsalis, which is the Clark's column, and the pathway is the anterior and posterior spinocerebellar tracts, and the destination is the cerebellar cortex, not the cerebrum. This is the cerebellum, cerebellar cortex. So these are shown. Uh, we'll go. I will come back to this picture. Spinocerebellar tracts, anterior and the posterior. And here uh, I have pasted two pictures for you and uh, I'll, for your uh, elaboration. That uh, you see first uh, identify that these are the first order neurons, the dorsal root ganglion. You know this is the spinal nerve. And this is the posterior root. This is the posterior dorsal root ganglion, and this is the first order neuron. And this is the second order neuron, which for here, this is the anterior and posterior spinocerebellar tract. For that, this is the nucleus dorsalis, the Clark's column. And here, this is uh, uh, the here also the accessory cuneate nucleus, right? And uh, then this is passes through the inferior cerebellar peduncle and reaches the cerebellum. So first of all, we will study the posterior spinocerebellar tract. For that first order neuron, I told you this is in the dorsal root ganglion. Axons which enter spinal cord from here end by synapsing on second order neurons at the base of the dorsal gray column. These neurons are known together as the nucleus dorsalis or the Clark column, the same name, Clark column. Then axons of the second order neurons enter the posterolateral part of the lateral white column on the same side, ipsilateral side. We focus on that. That the posterior spinocerebellar tract axons, they remain on the same side, ipsilateral side, and go upwards as the posterior spinocerebellar tract to the medulla oblongata. In medulla oblongata, the tract joins the inferior cerebellar peduncle and ends in the cerebellar cortex. Now we can come back to the picture, and here you see this. This is uh, how they reach from this first, second, and the third order neuron to this uh, through this inferior colloclus. And uh, this is the inferior cerebellar, uh, sorry, inferior cerebellar peduncle. And they uh, through the reach, through the uh, medulla oblongata, they reach the cerebellum. This is the route taken by the uh, this uh, dorsal spino spinocerebellar tract, the posterior spinocerebellar tract. It does not ascend to the cerebrum, cerebral cortex of the cerebrum that I already told you. As the nucleus dorsalis extends only, it does not extend throughout the extent of the 
a spinal cord its extends is only from c8 segment this is it starts from c8 segment and it goes cordially to the l3 or l4 lumbar 3 or lumbar 4 segment axons which enter spinal cord from the posterior roots of the lower lumbar and sacral segments go up in the dorsal white column until they reach the third or fourth lumbar segment where they enter the nucleus dorsalis it receives muscle joint information from the muscle spindles joint receptors and tendon organs of the trunk and lower limbs that i already told you in the table the state of the tension of the muscle tendons and the movements of the muscles in the joint receipt the is interpreted by cerebellum to the to, to to coordinate limb movements and the posture maintenance so, so the main functions of the cerebellum involve this posterior spino cerebellar tract coordination of the limb movements and the posture maintenance so then the anterior spino cerebellar tract right we so saw studied the posterior and now the anterior spino cerebellar tract again the first order neurons are present in the dorsal root ganglion axons which enter spinal cord from here end by synapsing on second order neurons at the base of the dorsal dorsal gray column these neurons are known together as the nucleus dorsalis of the clark column so fate of the anterior spino cerebellar tract till this level is the same most axons not all most of them of the second order neurons cross to the opposite side so when you do, you remember recall that the posterior spino cerebellar tract all of were on the ipsilateral side but of the anterior spino cerebellar tract most axons cross to the opposite side and ascend up as anterior spino cerebellar tract in the contralateral white column some axons ascend as a some of them the remaining as the anterior spino cerebellar tract in the lateral white column of the same side right so most go to the opposite side and some of the Uh, anterior spino cerebellar tract fibers go on the same side you can see from the picture right this this you see this is the ventral spino cerebellar tract and uh, here you see this this is the first order neuron and here more the cross to the opposite side and here they ascend upwards here here they the through superior cerebellar peduncle and they go to the cerebellum so fibers that ascend through the medulla oblongata and pons reach the cerebellum through the superior cerebellar peduncle and end in the cerebellar cortex that i just showed you in the picture fibers that crossed to the opposite side in the spinal cord cross back within the cerebellum so this is very important information fibers that cross to the opposite side in the spinal cord cross back within the cerebellum so this is the reason that uh, when there is uh, lesion on uh, the right side of the uh, cerebellum the symptoms are also produced on the right side of the uh, cerebellum that is on the ipsilateral side not the contralateral side but then in the cerebrum it is the diff different reasons produced on the contralateral side right it's very important so this tract anterior spino cerebellar tract carries muscle joint information from the muscle spindles tendon organs and joint receptors of the lower limbs upper limbs and trunk the cerebellum receives information from the superficial fascia and skin by this tract so this small tract cuneo cerebellar tract these fibers arise from the nucleus cuneatus nucleus cuneatus and reach the cerebellum through the inferior cerebellar peduncle of the same side right 
and they are called the posterior external arcuate fibers and they convey information of muscle joint sense to the cerebellum right so let me go back to this picture and uh, here this is the cuneo cerebellum fibers right these are this is the cuneate nucleus and their fibers going through this inferior cerebellar peduncle reaching the cerebellum and they are called the cuneo cerebellar fibers so this was the uh, detail of the cuneo cerebellar tract so that was uh, um, uh, things uh, i was mentioning about uh, 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 fibers anterior uh, spinal cerebellar tract posterior spinal cerebellar tract and the cuneo cerebellar tract so thank you very much we ended up these uh, uh, fibers reaching up to the cerebellum quickly and uh, i will uh, try to share rest of the remaining ascending tracks in a very short 5 uh, 10 minutes 5 6 7 uh, in 5 6 7 minute video uh, very quickly to you and then uh, coming back to the our last uh, uh, of the this topic uh, theory of the spinal cord ascending tracks thank you very much stay tuned and please if you like and support Uh, my channel uh, through liking and commenting and sharing and do subscribe my channel please